It's a place many of us have been to homesick and that first time you've really been away from home and that's where Blackhawks Tyrone Lewis was one year ago and it came to the point where he thought about transferring moving closer to his home in Milwaukee. Last year it was really tough you know we didn't have I really had no family here I didn't really have no good friends here this year you know I have my uh, friend Chris Hope big brother Jeremy you know, it's real comfortable for me here now and the coach and the whole team and processes everything is good. Tyrone was a, a, he's a great kid. He came in just like a lot of freshmen. He struggled getting adjusted. He was homesick. Um, you know, playing time wasn't what he wanted to be. He, he couldn't figure out what we wanted to do on a consistent basis. He knew, but he wanted to, like a lot of freshmen, they're, they're conflicted between what you want them to do and what they think they need to do. And he just really kind of battled himself. And it was a lot of conversation as far as you know, just talking to him. He was just really down in the dumps, and it was, uh, it was it was a tough year for him. When he looks back on this 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, I mean, this could be like one of the turning points in his life. You well, know? It could be, and to be honest, Dan, you know, he was in spring, he, he was looking around, and, and I really wasn't sure he was going to come back, and, and really kind of what turned around was, was I talked to his mother, and his mother called me to say, hey, Coach, what is going on? Mm -hmm. And I kind of told her, you know, you know filled her in, so, you know, how behind the scenes things and, and conversations he and I had had and and she just she finally at the end of the conversation said coach he committed you for two years he's coming back I says well call me back and let me know for sure after you talked to him she said no I'm telling you it's he's coming back that he made a commitment and he's gonna honor it and he's gonna come back and he's gonna be better and he's gonna figure things out after lots of thought and heartache Lewis realized the answer wasn't back home it was right here in Moline Illinois with a caring coaching staff and support Supportive teammates. It motivates me a lot. You know, it just keeps me going and going, and keeps the team going. So, whatever works, help works. Mm -hmm. Well, yours is a story that's been told over and over again. That you know, yeah. especially guys, they're not going to admit they're homesick. Yeah. But I mean, that's that's something that uh, that I think is part of probably half the guys that go away to college too. What's your message to those people who are struggling with that still? That say, you know, I've been at school for six weeks. I don't know if I want to stay at this college. You know. Just don't start now that you can't finish. You know. It's real hard, but you got to get through it because you don't want to grow up to have somebody look up to you and realize that you're not doing what they're looking up to. Things aren't always easy, and things aren't, aren't always the way you want them to be or envision them to be, and, and I think that gives him the confidence that, to stay on the path and, and, and have the faith that, hey, stay the course and things are going to get better and things are going to work out, and, and I just think it's a tremendous tool and a tremendous learning lesson for him. Hey, we've got 80 plus active huddles in our Illawa FCA area. Are you ready to join the fun at your college, high school, or middle school? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at IllawaFCA.org. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.